Hello, and in this lesson we are going to study the options for management and relations with suppliers and customers in 1C ERP. These are included in the master data, procurement and sales subsystems. In 1C ERP system we use contracts and agreements to manage relations with partners and to provide control and regulation of sales and procurement. Contracts and agreements are two different independent catalogs. Agreements are used in management accounting, sales management, and procurement. Several contracts may meet the conditions specified in agreement. Agreements are not used in the financial accounting. A contract represents an actual legal document concluded between legal entities. Contracts are used as one of the analytics when it comes to accounting records, but are also used in management accounting. In general, a contract in 1C ERP represents a contract between one of our companies and an external counterparty. There are several types of contracts in 1C ERP. And for each transaction, we use a certain type of contract – purchase, sales, etc. An agreement stores basic parameters and rules of interaction with partners. For example, they are used as a template with predefined data for orders and invoices. The conditions of all relations between two partners are mentioned in the agreement. All the information, once mentioned in the agreement, is automatically transferred into newly created sales or purchases documents, where this agreement is selected. There are two major types of agreements – agreements with suppliers and agreements with customers. Customer agreements may be standard or individual. A standard customer agreement contains information about conditions that are the same for all customers. An individual customer agreement stores specific conditions for a single customer. Supply agreements are always individual since purchase conditions are unique for each supplier. In the next lessons, we'll find out how supply agreements or purchase agreements help us fill in purchase orders. Now let's create a contract with the have about supplier. Go to Purchases, Purchase Master Data, Contracts with Suppliers. Here we can see a workplace with a list of all supplier contracts. This list can be filtered or arranged by company, counterparty, status, term or manager. Let's create a contract with our supplier of have about that we have created in the previous lesson. This contract should fix the following conditions. Purchase is made to the central warehouse, which uses the advanced warehousing already created. Delivery to warehouse is carried out by the supplier. Mutual settlements are detailed by invoices. Click Create. Here we can see the main contract form. Specify the name of the contract, have a boat's purchase contract and select our company, SBS Trading GmbH, from the list. The details of bank accounts are added automatically since our company has only one bank account. Then select the department, Munich Purchasing Department, and the supplier, Magic Hoverboats. The appropriate company, Magic Hoverboats GmbH, and its bank account are added automatically because there is only one counterparty and account for this supplier. We can also specify contract number, contract term and one of the three statuses – not approved, valid, closed. Leave the valid status on the main tab. Switch to the settlements and registration tab. Here we should specify the details of mutual settlements, currency and procedure of acceptance for the advanced warehouse. That is for cases when invoicing or registration of acceptance of goods at the warehouse are carried out separately. Detailing of mutual settlements according to invoices within 1C ERP corresponds to by invoices. Besides, you can choose either by contracts or by others. Currency is Euro. We can limit the acceptance of goods at the advanced warehouse in the following situations. After order registration, after goods receipt registration, under the current contract, including without documents. In SBS trading, acceptance of goods at the warehouse takes place after registration of purchase order. We are going to talk about it in the next lesson. Therefore, we leave the option after order registration.
then we need to specify that the supplier needs to deliver half the boats to our warehouse. Switch to the Delivery tab, select by supplier to our warehouse. There are other delivery options, which you can review by yourself. Press Save and Close. We have created a contract with the supplier. Good job! Next lesson, we're going to learn how to create agreements.